the Huize Eco Duct. You could drive under it again, and again, and again, without ever realizing what's on top. We call it an eco duct or a wildlife overpass. Some people call it a landscape bridge, and it's actually connecting several natural areas on both sides of the gap that is made by, by roads and railroads right beneath us now. And are also causes for animals to die on it when they try to cross them. The special thing of this bridge in, uh, in Krailo is uh, the length, 800 meters from the start to the end, the longest in the world they say. Um, another specialty here is uh, that people can use it, so it is kind of a co-use of the facility. We used several techniques to find out what animals are using it. We used these track beds. Uh, people pass and their tracks are left behind. So the next morning we come here and we read these tracks and we register them. We also measure with the use of uh, infrared cameras. that register also date and time that animals pass or people pass this bridge. And we use some plates that we put out in long transects to help us finding uh, amphibians and reptiles. We looked at mammals, reptiles and amphibians and we see that several species use the bridge, including roe deer, red fox, hedgehog, polecat, hare, rabbit, also badger and pine marten. Uh, and that's very special for this area, they're rare species. We have several frog species, uh, the common toad is here, and so different species uh, found the bridge and use it. This bridge is an is a interesting and important first uh, step, let's say, in defragmenting the area, but uh, we should not think now that we are finished, that wildlife is saved. No, we should also look at the other uh, hotspots and look how we can also mitigate those places and in the end it will preserve uh, the species. Mm -hmm.